All across WMU's different campuses, students gather safely to celebrate their graduation and all the hard work that they have done. After a year of virtual learning and social distancing, most of 2021's graduating class was able to go in person to their respective schools. Among these was the Aviation College, who congregated outside their new facility in Battle Creek. They were able to get their diplomas and snap a picture with the Dean, Captain Dave Powell. On the main campus, graduates and faculty of the College of Education and Human Development rejoiced and reflected about their past year. Provost Jennifer Bott shared her happiness with the Herald. Oh, today is just pure joy. Um, it's it's the, our students being able to have a moment with their faculty and staff okay, and make this day possible. Woo! Incredible. But the dean of the school, Ming Li, said that the attendance of faculty who guided these students came in a surprising number, showing just how deeply they cared for the graduates. So initially we have five people to plan for the event, but look at the day. We have almost like 30 faculty and staff coming back right. to, uh, to basically, the reason why we are here is that we're so pleased to see that through the four year studies, hard working, our students finally we're able to see them through uh, the graduation. We are so excited for it now and so pleased, so happy for them. Bot wasn't the only one full of joy. Students in the graduating class knew just how different their time was, but also that their hard work had paid off. It is different. You know, like I graduated from undergrad in 2017, and so having a large celebration was in not having one is a little bit different this year, but um, I'm excited for to, to have made it out of the pandemic. Well, not made it out, but kind of made it through this program mm -hmm. during the pandemic. Oh, yeah. so At the foot of George Sprout Tower and in front of the fountains thereof, the College of Fine Arts held their ceremony with no difference in happiness. Students in the dance program talked about their expectations and how they celebrated together for their big day. We kind of knew after last year that it was very likely that things were going to be virtual, um, and that was okay. We in the dance department kind of took it upon ourselves to do our little own department graduation, which was really nice. and personal. We did that yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, so I, one last little hoorah for the class of 2021. Mm -hmm. So that was nice that we were able to do that on our own. Um, we just hope that it gets picked up for future classes that they get to have that kind of celebration, mm -hmm. even in a non-COVID year. President Montgomery was in attendance and implored why safe in-person celebration and expression of joy to each other is so important after an accomplishment this large is achieved. You know, this is always such an incredibly special day and to be out here and see the family smiling uh, really is the culmination of a journey and it's a wonderful experience. Makes it all worthwhile, you know, and, mm -hmm. <laughs> to be part of that. Over at the Lawson Ice Arena, the College of Arts and Sciences wouldn't let the wind ruin their day. A steady stream of excited grads came to see the staff and celebrate about all that they have done. A family can be seen here with matching t-shirts, celebrating their new WMU alumni's final step in their college career. Provost, dean, faculty, and students all enjoying the moment that not too long ago seemed so far away. On Western's East Campus, the College of Health and Human Services held their celebration, bringing in a great amount of students, all having one thing in common, success. Dean of the school, Ron Seisler, said just how important it is for students to have this time to rejoice. A lot of people said that they ended their last year online and they didn't have the fellow students and the connection with the faculty and to do that and to to be part of, I think it was closure. I think people needed that and they needed to do it in person. They need to see people, they need to be recognized for their accomplishment. And uh, a lot of students and family members, you could tell, were just beaming and just appreciative of that. So it's. I don't know, I just think it's a good way to end their, their uh, academic career here. The College of Engineering and Applied Sciences gathered by the spire at Elson S. Floyd Hall to celebrate themselves and each other. They also spoke about why this event is important. I guess I was surprised at um, how much you could still connect with people that were in classes even though you weren't physically in class with them. So a lot of us, you were assigned groups and you worked with people. Um, that you maybe had never met before. Oh, I think having this um, this in-person part was important because we need to keep memories mm -hmm. of this moment. 
yeah, I think that's the most important part of it. Dean Steve Butt explained why the event happened and what it provides for students involved. Yeah, we had 267 graduates from the college uh, this semester. So we know some of them have already gone home, of course. Uh -huh. But for those uh, that were here and some have driven back, I mean, it's been really nice to give them an opportunity to, to get outside and take some pictures. He also explained the college's challenge coin. We give this to our uh, alums, in fact, graduates as they walk across Miller, typically. Uh, I'll shake their hands and put this in their hand at the same time. And then the idea is that they would carry this and carry part of Western with them, particularly uh, our college. So, and then there is a challenge part to that as well. So if, oh, cool. if, if I actually pull my coin out to a graduate and they don't have their coin on them, then they owe me a drink. Oh. <laughs> now, if they pull theirs out. Though the class of 2021 may have vastly different futures, they all came together to celebrate all that they have achieved at WMU.